Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, it is Thursday, the 6th of May, and I am here on Central Drive, outside the King Edward apartment buildings. Now in my recent vlog, I did state that these were all coming down when the new development starts. But, I've recently read that they are going to be staying up. All these buildings here, the King Edward VII Pub, the Central Picture Theatre, built in 1913, and the King Edward Apartment, they are all staying. These are going to be converted into, I think they said it was going to be luxury accommodation. When I first started filming around here, I did state that this building was going to be all refurbished and put up into the luxury accommodation. And somebody corrected me in the comments and was like, no, 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 like that's coming down. So I was like, okay. But now I've found out that that building is not coming down after all. So if you wonder why I've just very suddenly switched spots, it's because when I was filming that way on the drive, everything was so very noisy and the wind was blowing in my face and I decided that would be terrible for the audio on the video. So I switched the camera off and I moved around the back. There is something going on there, so I will take a quick look in a minute. So yeah, we have the back of the King Edward Apartments and the back of the picture theatre so all this lot is actually staying so that's nice because originally I did think they were staying and then somebody told me I was wrong and they were going to be pulled down but now I found out that they are actually staying so I think that's good because I know there's a lot of you that doesn't like to see all the buildings in Blackpool being pulled down I mean I always thought that was staying I don't think that one was ever in any doubt but this is the one that people thought were going to be coming down but now it's staying so let's just take a little look around here there is something going on down there, but I don't think it's part of the actual development. I think it's just something unrelated. So we'll take a quick look and then I've got to get back onto Central Drive. Yeah, I've no idea what's going on there, but it looks small and unrelated to the big development. I just walked through a giant puddle while I was filming and I can feel all my toes are suddenly soggy. So that's not fun. Because I am on my way to work and I'd rather not spend the evening with wet feet. So interestingly enough in this development we know the old police station's coming down and we know that the Golden Mile Amusements is coming down but the Sea Life and Funland are apparently staying see the tower there let's just move back I'm not sure what that is but Sorry, I just really wobbled the camera then. Despite how bright it looks, it's actually fairly cold today, or I'm feeling the cold. So I'm just exiting the car park now. 
going back onto Central Drive. This is Central Drive here. It actually starts way down there on Waterloo Road by the Waterloo Pub. And Central Drive finishes just where the lights are and where the new Sands Hotel is and leads on to Bank Hay Street. That street up there is Hornby Road. And Hornby Road is already on the streets of Blackpool series. The next street I'm coming to is Vance Road. And I think I am going to end this part of this vlog here because the wind's blowing right in my face so I'm going to try and find somewhere that is a little bit less windy to film and I've shown you what I wanted to show you anyway I wanted to show you the King Edward apartment so that is the first part of the vlog finished and I will see you in a second see you in a bit okay I'm back and as you can see now I am on well, officially King's Square. You've got down there, which is Church Street. You've got the street here, which is Corn Street. You've got South King Street down there. Church Street continues on down that way. And the one running off to my right there is King Street. But today, I'm gonna to be walking down Corn Street. I don't think I've vlogged down here before somebody did ask me a while ago to add it to the Streets of Blackpool series and I think it kind of slipped my mind and I forgot but I will make it an official edition when I can but for now you'll get to see the street as I walk down it on my way to work furniture matters there I do like that old building. I think it used to be council buildings at one point. Oh, look at that. Thousands of vinyl bargains. Well, thousands more vinyl bargains. Open Fridays and Saturdays. And there you've got records and relics. I would like to have a good browse through there. But not right now because I don't have the time. When I left Central Drive, in the first part of this vlog it was like super windy and I very nearly stopped and jumped in a taxi to get to work but just to push this button it very quickly brightened up so I thought you know what the heck I'll walk see the Regent down there at the bottom of Cookson Street Cookson Street is already on the streets of Blackpool series that's down the other side that leads at the Wilco site. I was actually going to do a little update on that site today but seeing as I'm walking down here I think I'm going to stick with this route for this part of the vlog because as I just said I'm fairly certain this is one of those streets that I haven't walked down whilst vlogging yet. So what's happening today? Well I'm on my way to work as usual happy to be back at work my body's still a little tired getting used to longer walks and working hours and filming hours but I'm getting there you know yeah Heidi's got a surgery tomorrow morning so we're going to be dropping her off at the vets at 9am and I'll be taking her down there myself. The street I'm crossing now, just to break off from what I was saying, is Grosvenor Street. You see the Salvation Army and Rakes Parade at that side. And at the other end is Sainsbury's. I was going to go in Sainsbury's and see if they had any of my cinnamon bun lattes. I went in yesterday and they hardly had 
any coffee at all so I was thinking we'd get a new delivery but I haven't got time now oh that's an interesting looking building looks like a really old factory building I wonder what's going on in there so going back to what I was saying about Heidi I'm dropping off at the vets tomorrow and the GoFundMe has already been paid to the vets because I got an email from the organiser and he told me that he'd transferred £210 in credit to the vets so that was really kind and that is so helpful it takes a huge weight off my mind and I will do a little Heidi vlog before she goes to the vets and when she feels better I will give you an update and film her I'm obviously not going to film her when she's just straight back groggy from the vets I want to wait a while until she feels better the street I'm crossing now is Buchanan Street it's a longish street that I didn't really realise It's fairly quiet here today as well. A few cars, but not many people. It's normally quite a busy time. Little block of shops there. Solo scissors, unisex hairdressing, Scarlet Jessica's Beauty Lounge, the Cafe Diva, birthday cakes, celebration cakes, wedding cakes and desserts. Don't know if that's open or not looks shut yeah that looks shut and empty but i don't know its status if it's closed permanently or not it might open again soon and there we've got bliss perfect oh retrospective candles and gifts microblading semi-permanent makeup spray tons you know, I thought of having my eyebrows done with that microblading technique. It's something I've considered loads of times. So I have fairly sparse eyebrows and my eyebrows are really pale. This street here is Elizabeth Street, it leads off Home Street. It runs all the way down there towards North Station area. And that way it runs on to Church Street. Yeah, I have thought about getting my eyebrows done, but if you're going to get like semi permanent makeup tattooed onto your eyes, your eyebrows, I think you've got to be really sure that's what you really want to do because they're going to be there for the best part of a year. I don't know how long they last. Do they last six months to a year? I'm not sure but I've seen some people that have had that done and they look fantastic and I really would like to have a go but I don't know I'm not sure I'd dare little corner shop there post box I'm not sure of the names of the streets here I think that one is Gorton Street yes it is, that's Gorton Street changed a lot over the years that one has my mum's childhood home was on Gorton Street but her house doesn't stand anymore the park there there's nobody on it so I can give you a quick look and I'm pretty sure the road I'm coming up to now is Victory Road one runs on both sides yeah because it's a victory pub so I know for sure that one is victory road I think it runs round and I also think that one is also victory road let's take a look at the victory as I pass anyway that is a great looking building we do have some fantastic looking old buildings in Blackpool, look. 
Imagine that was your house. Thing is, if you had enough money to have a house that big and grand, I think you'd want a big fence around it in some like majestic grounds and gardens, wouldn't you? You just wouldn't want it there with your front door right on the pavement. Maybe at one time it did have a, like a sumptuous gardens and grounds around it. It could have. I mean, who knows? I just said teeny tiny street. I don't know the name of it and I can't see a name on it. I guess that's something I can ask Google later. So, if I remember, I will ask Google the name of that small street. Anyway, onwards to work. The road I'm coming up to now is Selborne Road and that runs right through Corn Street one end to the other end so it goes across there and runs down there We've got St Thomas's Parish Centre there that is all the polling station today Thursday the 6th of May and on the corner of Corn Street and Devonshire Road is St Thomas's Parish Church so I think I'll just get to the corner and give you a good look at this church building because it really is a beautiful building and then I will end this part of the vlog just before we do get to the corner that is Coleridge Road off to our left running off Corn Street about now just to get to the junction of Devonshire Road and Corn Street and that is where I'll finish this part of the vlog but I just want to take a picture of the front of this church let me just get to a better spot where I can take a picture because I can't get the front of the building from there there we go that's that's a fairly good view. What about that? I don't know why I said take a picture because I'm not taking a picture. I'm just giving you a little bit of a video look through it. So that is the end of this part of the vlog. So I will see you in a second with the final part. video.